Today's sister shout out goes out to anyone who is bleeding subscribers and has a red social blade. We feel really sorry for them and we um, wish you the best. Wish you the best. There's so much drama going on right now. What's up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. I'm just gonna be really honest with you. I am trying to like film this in between the person that cuts my grass, cutting my grass because he is really, 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 really loud. It's not his fault. It's just like, yeah, girl, like it's loud. So I'm gonna jump right into this. I did have to bring a full two liter of Mountain Dew because this is so much drama. Like I just, I don't even know what to do with myself at this point. Literally, James Charles has lost his mind. So, for those of you that clicked on this video, let's just jump straight into it. So, yesterday I noticed that James Charles actually tweeted back to Keemstar when he said, I want to interview James Charles and get a good combo about the things that happened in May and how he feels about everything now. I think that would be a good video. Thoughts? So, of course, with James Charles being tagged, he's seen this from Keemstar, and he replied with the following. Love you, Keem, but I don't want to relive it again and again, and I'm moving on and working on my happiness. Really? Are you, James? Because it seems like you are being, like, hella thirsty. Now, that is not the topic of this video. Well, it is kinda, but listen to this. So... Last night, I'm laying in bed. I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache. And I get a message from Ashley Kyle, and she sends me this. She sends me Samuel Cook's Instagram story, right? And I'm like, why are you sending me this? This makes no sense. And it had, like, the receipts from James Charles' video where he did his empty house tour when he, like, moved into this house. Airbnb. My opinion, allegedly. And... He, like, reviewed his house, not reviewed his house, but he, like, went through his house, showed his empty house, and then, like, he went out by the pool. Well, she sent me pictures of the pool, and I'm like, girl, why are you sending me this? And then she sent me the Instagram story from Sam Cook. That is this. You guys watch this. I mean, there's a lot of houses that probably have a pool and a wall. But are there a lot of houses that have a pool, a wall, and like trees behind it that look kind of like palm trees or whatever? Now, this is the part that like really gassed me and really got me to believe that this is honestly James Charles' house that Sam Cook is at. Now, if you look here, I'm gonna show you James Charles' like footage from his video that he had originally put on his channel that shows him going out of his like I don't know if it's like a dining area out to where the pool is because there's like a sidewalk and then there's like people sitting there and you see cracks and stuff and there's like dogs there and then he walks over to this area where there's the pool and it has like this step down it looks exactly like where Sam Cook is sitting so you guys check this out and then I'll be back with more commentary. Next to the living room is a huge sliding glass door. Obviously, there's a ton of people outside. These are all my family and my best friend. They've been helping my moving process. But I'll show you guys a little backyard moment. Kelsey's dogs are also here too. They will not be staying, unfortunately, but me and Ian definitely do plan on adopting a puppy as soon as we get in and get some. I am so beyond excited. So as soon as you walk outside, there is a huge TV and fireplace, which I think is actually so, so, so cool. I want to put a cute little seating area here so me and all my friends can chill out during the cool summer nights. Ow. And then we have the beautiful backyard. So the grass area is definitely not as big as I would want it to be. I grew up in upstate New York and I'm used to having a ton of property. I think the house that I grew up in was literally five acres, which is any nature lover's dream, which may come as a little bit of a surprise to you guys because I'm very much an inside home internet kid, but I definitely do love nature and relaxing. So my next house that I move into will have a huge backyard. I'm promising myself that right now. We do have a huge, beautiful swimming pool, which I am so beyond excited about. There is a waterfall that comes out of this little thing, but I'll show you in like the final little house reveal type of video. Now, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I absolutely love those games where you pick the differences. I see no differences. There's literally no differences there. And if you look at the second part of the Instagram story that Sam Cook posted after the one of LA with the pool, then you would see that there's like stains there and then there's cracks. If you look in James Charles's video where the dogs are, 
there's cracks. Those same cracks in the concrete are there. So in my opinion, this is exactly the same house. Now, why would James Charles do this? Why would James Charles openly invite someone that he literally, in my opinion, made, make an apology video that looked like he was being held against his will? Like you guys, do you remember that video at all? If you don't here, let me refresh your memory. Hello everyone. Um, I want to publicly apologize to James. The things that I said in my past video are not all true and I wanted to come clean about it. There are things that I understand and then there's things that I don't understand and this I don't understand. Why would James Charles be hanging out with somebody that allegedly like caused him so much pain, so much sorrow and so much hurt in his whole entire life? Because you guys know all of this stuff that happened with Tati and Jeffrey with James that blew up to epic proportions and literally melted down the internet and blew up my channel. Thank you so much. I know that a lot of you guys came from that like thank you like I needed that but in my opinion, James, you're crazy. Like, it makes no sense at all that you would invite this guy into your home because I honestly, in my opinion, this looks like your home, James. Now, I could be wrong. There could be another house out there that looks like yours that's in LA that Sam Cooke could be at, but literally, what are the odds of that? What are the odds? The odds are not in your favor in this one, in my opinion, my conspiracy, <laughs> allegedly, because James, listen, dude, like if somebody hurt you so bad and the way that you say that Gage and Sam hurt you, why would you even be having anything to do with them? Like literally after that video where you like made him apologize, in my opinion, like, hello, like I cannot help but think that this is possibly like a PR stunt or this is James searching or reaching for attention because his name is not in the limelight like it used to be. It makes absolutely no sense at all to me and I cannot fathom hanging out with someone that you say hurt you so badly. Someone that you say recorded you illegally, someone that you said like literally blew this up, someone that ran with a narrative about you and the fact that you would do this I can't fathom, but there is one thing. I have a theory about this, and I could be totally wrong. I've, I've been wrong before. A lot of people say I get everything wrong, but honestly, like, I don't really think I do. But this is just my opinion. If you guys follow Sebastian Williams, he is another drama channel here on YouTube, you would see that him and James Charles were recently just hanging out, and I think that this could possibly be a video situation where Sebastian is gonna do a sit down with James and maybe Sam, and they're gonna talk about the situation, and it's something, in my opinion, knowing what I know about James, and knowing the channels that he talks to, and things that he had planned in the past, and things that he's canceled in the past, that this is probably something that James Charles would do because he thinks that it would be like an attention grab. Now, I know that he's allegedly like working on this Netflix documentary now or some documentary about the beauty community and that could possibly be it as well. Why he would want to include that when he says that he, he never really ever wants to address it again makes absolutely no sense to me at all. Like why, like if, why would you put yourself back in that situation? If it wasn't like publicity, if it really did hurt you, why would you do that to yourself? I, you know, I don't really enjoy pain. I'm not that type of gal. That's not my thing at all. But James Charles just seems like he's the type of person that has a band-aid on and likes to rip it off. Like, that is what it seems like in this situation. Now, not only this is going on. Honestly, like, <laughs> at this point in time, it's like James Charles will do anything for attention, like a smidge of attention. I've seen that Brad Mondo uploaded his video reacting to Antonio Garza yesterday. A lot of people say that was pre-planned and it probably was. Uh, I'm not talking about like James Charles and like Brad Mondo like in cahoots, but like him actually having that video recorded before James asked him to do like a review of him dyeing his hair. But I actually was sent this yesterday where James Charles was in Cardi B's Instagram live and said, sis, chicken your messages ASAP please know what it is with this kid. I do not dislike James Charles. I don't hate James Charles. I hate the fact that he wants to erase channels like mine because we speak on him publicly and we make different opinion videos on him and we give commentary and we give feedback, but I don't ever feel like we're excessively harsh or mean in any way because that's just not who we are. That's not how we get down. We don't try to hurt people. That is not like... I don't want to hurt people. I've, I've been hurt enough in my life, okay? But the fact of the matter is that James Charles is now hanging out with Sebastian Williams. I know that Sebastian Williams, I think he went to the party that I was supposed to go to with the Morphe launch. You guys know that I ended up not going. And so I really didn't get the chance to meet Sebastian Williams. I don't really know this guy's character. I don't hate the guy. I did have a falling out with him. We follow each other on Twitter. But if they're going to make a video or whatever, like... <laughs> 
go ahead and do it because Sam Cook just posting this on his Instagram story knowing that people are gonna find out about it because literally like I don't I cannot believe that there's not more people talking about this and I think that that's what James Charles honestly wanted I think he wanted people to see this and be like oh my god like James Charles is hanging out with Sam Cook like it makes no sense at all and I know that James will probably see this video now I know this video is all over the place but let me get back to what I was just talking about because I literally just lost my train of thought and I don't like that James Charles is hanging out with Sebastian Williams, but wasn't it just like a couple weeks ago that James Charles was on that video with like Connor Franta and they were saying that drama channels are junk food for your brain and he wanted them all deleted and that he wanted them all erased because we're just awful evil people? Sis, you're hanging out with a f drama channel. You are literally hanging out with a drama channel that has like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. One, a drama channel that has made numerous videos about you and called you out. Like, no shade, no tea, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Like, don't hate Sebastian, don't hate James. I'm just really annoyed at the situation because if you're going to say one thing and then do something else, what does that tell your followers? Like, honestly, like, you said that you didn't ever want to address the situation with Sam again, but here you are, and he's, like, allegedly at your house. Like, you guys, I went on enough about this. Like, I... I've really like lost my mind over this because I cannot in my brain and I, I'm pretty smart I think like I have a pretty high IQ and I know a lot of people are gonna read me in the comments for saying that but I honestly do and I, I, I just cannot rationalize or think out a way that this would make sense for James Charles to do this if it was not just for strictly attention and to get the internet talking about him again but you guys let me know what you think down below because this is a lot to consume it's a lot to take in and I just do not know what to do with this information do you think that this is the same house because in my humble opinion I think it is but you guys let me know what you think down below and I'm sure we'll probably get more from this James will probably react to this he will probably make an Instagram story he'll probably tweet he'll probably be mad and all up in his feelings but honestly at the end of the day if you didn't want that information out there you should have probably told your little friend not to get on Instagram and post it but we all know that you probably did this intentionally you guys let me know what you think down below and I will see you all in my next video bye guys